Hey guys, welcome to Hollow's Heart. In today's video, we're, we're going to be covering the first two bosses of Hollow Heart. And uh, today, um, for some reason, I did not take down my live stream layout. So, uh, <laughs> sorry if I have my live stream layout on um, and you guys aren't able to see the whole entire screen. But um, yeah guys, my bad. I forgot <laughs> while I was recording this. So, this is Hollow's Heart Normal Mode 6 Man. And uh, we're gonna be going over the first, um, uh, the first two bosses, which aren't hard. They're just kind of, um, well, in six-man normal mode, it's pretty easy, and you don't really have to, uh, you know, do a lot of stuff to pass. But, um, but today we're gonna be uh, doing a guide on it real quick, and it's pretty simple. Now the boss does have a low jump mechanic, which you do want to jump because um, you don't want to take extra damage for no reason, right? And also, there is a little bit of a mechanic that you do want to avoid, especially the area around the boss. But we will talk about that as soon as we um, as soon as we start to engage the boss. So this is the first boss right here. He is the protector. He is a um, pretty easy boss. Um, but if you look at the shells around you, okay, he has these four shells. Now these four shells are going to be throughout the dungeon and you'll see them all over the place, okay? And these shells are going to be significant later on in the dungeon as well. So, those shells should indicate where the markers should go. Because the markers, well the mechanic is supposed to be, there is four markers and they, they want to stand um, different distance from the boss but according to the shells on where the shells are so that each, each area covers the other area but without interfering with the other area so we're gonna be going right into the boss right now so the first attack the boss will throw at us is the dual the, two, the dual scissor attack and then the boss is gonna do this little spin attack now the first few hits of the spin attack will not do anything however you do want to block the last attack because the last attack will knock you back which is not good how um so if you do get knocked back you will the boss will jump to you and the party won't like you very much because he jumps to you and he, and he does this huge wave and then his next attack will be a yellow uh smackdown attack which will knock you down and then the red attack which is cc-able you guys saw the cc and the boss got grabbed that attack is a uppercut and a down smash at the same time so that boss is uh, now going to be doing the mechanic phase which is at 70% now he's gonna be looking around for some stuff all right now you want to DPS him for a little bit but you want to get out of the area before he makes this red zone around him okay because that's very important very very important that you get out because if you stay in that area you will be rooted and if you're rooted you cannot jump these waves which is very easy to do um, all you gotta do is as soon as the boss jump you jump boss jumps jump all right you get yes you guys get the rhythm there and then he's gonna select a uh, des designated area that he will destroy or destroy the people inside him right and that's it um you can iframe it and hard mode you cannot I you cannot iframe this okay but in normal mode you can uh iframe this so after he does the four area of death you can go back in and you can uh, um dps him now make sure you stun the boss when his shield is down. That is very important because you saw him, you saw that he has a shield, okay? So make sure you stun him when his shield is down. Do not stun him when the shield is not down. That's very, very crucial, okay? If you get that correctly, then we, then you guys should be good. And then the boss will do a massive five hit AOE, which you can either sheath or iframe yourself. Just like that. Simple, right? Then the boss will restart the mechanic at 30%, which our party is pretty strong and they're able to get that um, get that DPS down pretty nicely. So the boss is going to do the same thing once again, but um, same thing once again, he's going to make this red area that you should definitely get out of and definitely not stay for. So uh, he's going to do it right now and then he is going to create these two orbs. Now these two orbs will run towards the tanks. But there's a way that you can, there's, well, there's actually two ways that you can approach this. One, you put on your hard moon block or you put on your block and you're able to block these orbs. Or you can be lazy like me and just walk around and the, and the orbs will completely miss you. Completely 
miss you and uh you will be perfectly fine and then the boss is gonna do the four you know destruction area of death and people's gonna die that guy that gun is dead but as soon as he does the four areas you can go back to the boss and um dps them now after the four pizza like you know death zone the orbs will explode and the explosion will actually cause you to root if you're close enough but um, you know this group is pretty competent and they're able to uh, you know CC the boss when the shield is down and we were so strong that we are able to kill the boss before he even does the next massive AOE so that's all you gotta do for this boss relatively easy and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the okay guys so once you've cleared the first boss, there is going to be a dragon post that you'll be able to ride um, up to the next branch of the dungeon. Does that make sense? Anyways, you ride up the branch from the dra dragon post and you go to the next boss. Now there's going to be this low portal that you, you know, go through it real quick and you got to traverse through these uh, things. I'm like, to, I'm trying to think of what they like, what a name for them would be, but whatever, right? Uh, we just gotta traverse up here, pretty easy. Um, you do want to avoid the spiders because the spiders they do give a little hint on what they're gonna be doing um, in this boss. As you guys, as you guys can see, the boss, I mean not the boss, the the spiders they explode. Okay, they explode and they will give you a poison stack. You can stack up to twenty stacks. 20 stacks of poison is very, very deadly, so be very, very careful about that. So, we're going to start the boss here. First attack was a swipe. Second attack is a daze, okay? The two um, smash attack is a daze. That red attack right there is a fake, okay? That is a fake attack. All that does is um, root you in place. That uh, It's just a webbing that will keep you in place. And then, he's going to do this, um, you know, this... Uh, spin attack which were CCable and you guys saw that we CC'd him and we grabbed him and then he just kind of restarts his uh, his uh, attacks but anyways that's basically it uh, at 70% he's gonna go up to his shell of, of protection and he's gonna just be up there for a while and um, all you gotta do is go around the map and kill these eggs now these eggs contain one little spider called little explosive spider you kill that one and you pick up its bomb. Now, the bomb, you want to hold on to it and you want to stay away from the mark because somebody's gonna have the mark and the mark will look like the spider head. It looks like exactly like a spider head um, as the boss and you will be able to, uh, you know, get, uh, you know, get the mark on you. But as you can see, I can't aim. <sighs> you definitely can't aim, okay, so. Looks like I have to repeat this because I can't aim to save my life and um, to, to save, not my life, to save others' life, okay? Because you're supposed to throw that little explosive orange ball to the big spider on top. So that makes it makes it so that he falls down and that's basically it for the boss. He's very, very, very simple boss. We're going to do it again and look at that. This time we succeed and uh, we threw the, the bomb at the boss and... Um, able to knock him down now while he's knocked down if he is cap pinned he will not get back up all right so the boss does the same rotation again but uh, this time if he really has to repeat it twice he will do the same grappling attack not grappling but um, if he's doing the like if he does a swipe and then he does a knockback this one right here will be the one where he knocks everybody up in the air and he will spider web them okay that's the spider web. You do not want to get caught by that. And then his next attack is always this forward going attack. Charge attack. There we go. That's what I was, I was that's what I was trying to think of. Then his next attack will always be a charge attack where he charges at you while you're webbed up and you're going to take a uh, quite a hefty chunk of damage. So that's it. The uh, the mechanic will repeat at 30%. Relatively easy, not too hard. And uh yeah, Kill the explosive uh, spider. Somebody pick up the bomb, please, because once again, I can't aim. I can't aim to save my friend's life, or my squad, or my party's life. But anyway, somebody was able to do it, and uh, we're just gonna burst him down. And the boss is just as easy as dead. But um, 
that's it for the boss, guys. He is easy to kill. He's not too hard. There's not a lot of mechanics for the first two bosses. As long as you guys can avoid the big AoE from the first boss and not die slash from the second boss because, you know, you can't aim like and not not don't be like me and uh not able to aim. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this short little guide uh for the first two boss and uh tomorrow I will have the boss, the main boss, the the main boss, okay? I will have the main boss up tomorrow. So, with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time on Blade and Soul. See you guys then. Uh.